Welcome to the Dreams of Consciousness podcast. If you would be so kind, would you mind introducing yourself? I am uh, Estra from the Swedish Black and the Funeral Doom band Gravkvede. And how would you describe the music of Gravkvede? It's like a, a mixture of, you know, black metal, funeral doom, and some dark ambient influences as well. We like, yeah, we blend these genres together in the ways we see fit for each song. But the the main idea, so to speak, has always been to, yeah, yeah, mix these like three basic ideas together. Uh, and where are you based? We are based in uh, Sweden in a town called Trollhättan. Would you mind telling listeners who live outside of Sweden what your band name means? Oh, sure thing. Gravkvede is like a combination of the word grav, which means grave, and kvede, which is poem in old, like old Swedish. So it's not really a modern word. So something like, like funeral hymns, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So what led to you guys forming, and why did you want to put together a project that combined black metal with funeral doom and dark ambient music? It was sort of. Um... At the time, me and the vocalist uh, Dome Dag, who, who started the project back in 2016, that's like, that's what we were listening to at the time. You know, I was more into like the, the black metal scene and he was he quite heavily into a uh, funeral doom. So it was sort of just like uh, the most logical combination because that's what we felt uh, passionate about at the time. Uh, we just felt like it, it blended really nicely together, and you know, we we continued in those footsteps once we like saw what what we were able to accomplish with, with those, you know, genres. Now, had you and the vocalist been in bands before Kravkveda? Yeah, you know, like small smaller projects. I think is like a more appropriate term. Gravkvä is probably the first thing I've been involved in that has had like some sort of international reach, and I think the same goes for for Dome Dog. So, you know, we've we've been working with like music together since we first met, but nothing that has been uh, released uh, on a larger scale or anything like that. And how did you and Dome Dog meet? It was back in our teens, I believe. You know, we we uh, were from the same part of the country, and we were into this this kind of music. And you know, not a lot of other people were. So it was kind of like just you know logical that we would uh, find out about each other in one one way or another. I think we met through like a, a mutual friend when we were attending a show or something. And you handle all the instruments, and he handles the vocals. Is that right? Yeah, uh, that was the way we approached it to start with. Uh, but for this latest album, we have actually been three band members. Gravrot, who is playing the bass. So, you know, I still write most of the material, but I, I don't handle uh, the bass anymore. But you play drums as well, right? On the recordings? Yeah, the drums on most of our recordings are actually programmed. I see. Okay. So... Around 2016, you formed. Around 2018, you released your first album, Gravaska, uh, which came out through Avant Garde. How did they get involved with the release? Uh, we had recorded Gravaska in uh, 2018, and we were looking around for labels, just like sending it out to as many like people as possible. And we were scheduled to release it on one label, the name of which I can't remember, and. I, I, you know, I, I thought like, I, I was like almost certain that avant-garde music would not be interested in uh, releasing like a really small band with only, you know, two demos of questionable quality. But, you know, I gave it a shot anyway. And they answered one week later when, you know, we were very close to the release date and said that the album had made a large impact on them and that they you know asked if we were interested in working together uh, on the release and so you know we we already had some issues with the label we were on so we just kind of jumped ship on that one because you know it's 
it, like we were honored to be associated with uh, such a reputable label as avant-garde music. Now, was the deal with avant-garde for just one album? Yeah, Gravaska, I think we did something like 300 vinyls and like 500 CDs or something. So, you know, we, we didn't like sign over to them for, for more releases. 